You know, there's a question mankind has been pondering for millennia. <laughs> and no, it is not, when am I going to get a new sweatshirt? <laughs> The question, <laughs> I crack myself up, it's amazing. <laughs> the question is, what came first, the sprue former or the pattern for the sprue former? I had to, I had to deal with that question this week. So this is a sprue former that I use now to uh, form my sprues. It's nice and small, it's tapered, um, and it's what you need to be using for your sprues. Now. Let me go off camera here for a second. Here's the deal. I was going to make one of these for a friend. One of those weird internet friends. Anyway, and I started thinking, well, I'll just use this as my pattern, and I'll ram it up, and I'll do it, and then I, how am I going to use this to make the sprue that I need to make? <sighs> Couldn't do it. So, I printed one. Modeled it up in my, my with a uh, uh, took measurements off that guy, modeled it up, and there it is, a model, a nice three D print of this guy. Hopefully that uh, that meets meets your approval, and you know who I'm talking to, don't you? Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make this for a friend of mine. And uh, he can decide whether he'll tell you about it or not. Little hint. Um, so basically, all we got to do is ram this thing up, gate it up, pour it, polish it, done. Five minute, five minute video. Uh, no doubt, five minute video. <laughs> if I've never done, I don't think I've ever done a five minute video. That's because I won't shut up. Let's get it going. I showed you this thing from a from a distance. I'm going to show it to you, maybe. I'm going to show it to you if I can get it apart again. Show it to you up close. So I went ahead and printed in uh, an alignment slot here in the in both pieces, and then I printed a key to go in it and just hold it together. So basically, what happened is I'll do one side. I'll put this part, this key in, and we'll line it up, and we'll be good to go. It'd be easy peasy, right? Two part mold. I thought about doing one part, but then I realized, eh, I can't print that very easily. So we're going to go ahead and do this first part. Just get her down in there. And um, boy, I don't know. I think uh, I think we'll gate it in from the backside here. So I'll put my sprue in somewhere over here. So let's get this thing going. My uh, my Petra Blonde, that was a Freudian slip, wasn't it? My Petra Blonde, my Petra Bond is uh, almost black now, almost completely black. And that's because I keep refurbishing it. Every time I burn it out, and I'll tell you what, that aluminum bronze will burn it out like nobody's business. Um, I go ahead and blend in some more uh, non-detergent motor oil into it and get it to where it's it'll bind together and hold up and uh, but every time I do that I'm using more Petro Bond that has been burned it's had the had tons of carbon put in it and it, uh, it gets blacker every time but it's still just so you can see here I mean it still does what it's supposed to do at some point, I'm going to probably have to add some bentonite or something to this and just get it back. I don't know. All right, I'm going to ram this thing up. I'll be back. Well, I don't know if you noticed that, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't parting compound the. <laughs> Every time I do this, I screw something up. Oh well. We're going to uh, brush some on here just so the pattern doesn't stick together. I'll blow that off there as well just to. Get that, keep that groove from being full. OK. 
Okay, we will figure out the proper, or proper orientation for my key. Goes in that way. Maybe. Like so. And like so. So this time, before we forget, get that set all gooped up. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut in our, our basin and our ridge. And so again, I'm going to use this awesome pattern that I got um, just to kind of judge where I need to be somewhere around here. And the, the line on my pole is a, right at this, the depth that I need it to be. Um, well, I got part of it out of there. Right at the depth I need it to be to, uh, well, be the right depth. <laughs> and our ridge comes out sort of nice and even from the edges of the of the basin, like so. And it's deep. Okay, we got a Nice basin, nice ridge in there where it's supposed to be. Blow some of this off of here. And we'll open her up. I'm going to cut a little bit of a concave bottom to my riser. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and gate into the drag and uh, we'll gate, well I'm going to run into the drag. Gah! How many times can I say that incorrectly? I'm going to cut my runner in the drag in the bottom part of the flask to come over from the, uh, the sprue. Plenty good size. Uh, it's, that's a, that is almost as big as, you know, almost as big as the part. And then we're going to cut the um, we're going to cut the uh, gate in from the uh, the feeder, the riser, whatever you prefer. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to tell you right now. The next thing I'm going to learn to work on is actually casting, uh, ramming up these patterns. See what happened here along this edge? When I pulled that pattern out of there, it, the sand caught up. It wasn't, it wasn't exactly in the middle, so it, it was over the top. So when I pulled it up, it raised itself up and then set itself down again. Then, of course, it all broke off there when that happened, which means that I'm going to have a really, really bad part line. This is aluminum. I'm going to be able to clean it up pretty easily, so I'm not going to freak out over it, but that's something I got to learn how to do better. I got to definitely learn how to get my my patterns out of the sand cleaner. So something to learn, something to learn. Guess what I'll be focusing on for the next several casts, I'm sure. See if we can do this. You won't be able to see everything, but There it is.
what a joy aluminum is. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it melts so much faster than, uh, what's that stuff, uh, bronze. So much faster, so much easier. Look, there's hardly any smoke, there's hardly any flame. <laughs> this is great stuff. All right, we're gonna let this cool down and uh, we'll come back and open her up, see what we got. All right, we're, uh, we're still warm, but uh, not so warm I can't open it up. I'm gonna move over a little bit and we're gonna lift it up. Not too shabby. I think that's going to be okay. Let's see if I can't grab it and Let's look at the look at it from the bottom. I don't look at it from one angle here anyway. All right, I'm pretty pleased. This came out really well. Aluminum is great to pour. Did I mention that? <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm bring it up a little closer. The, the part line that I was so concerned about. And that ain't terrible. I'll take that off with a file in just a few seconds. So that'll be easy to deal with. Uh, you can see the gate that I brought in here is right at half the thickness. I just cut it in right at the, that, that uh, dimension. Uh, there seemed to be plenty to fill the part without any way. No problem. I went all the way up to the end. Um, nice basin. The, um, the ridge, nice and round, nice and even to come over the top here. Uh, Nice narrow sprue down into the runner. I uh, did have a little something happen here. I think this is probably just me with some kind of sand or something happening there. Um, eh, it's got to be something, something, something easy like that. But anyway, it, it ran over, it took the runner over to the feeder, filled the feeder. Uh, unlike that bronze, uh, brass, or bronze, man, like no shrinkage at all. It just, just fills, it cools off, and it's, it's great. So let me get this cleaned up and we'll come back and say goodbye. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. All right, there you go. Oh, wait. There's his. <laughs> they look the same. Pretty happy with the way they came out. Why is that not looking? There we go. Um, part line cleaned up reasonably well. You can still see a little bit there. And a little bit there and if I had a lathe I could have made it beautiful but I don't have a lathe so this is what it's going to be but it will work great for you Paul I said your name <laughs> people probably figured it out anyway um, and yeah I want to see this in use and I want to see it used properly you know the deal but you can't uh, uh, use this wrong you can't do put this thing in and do something all goofy like pour straight down it can't do it so, there you have it. Um, I got to link a video. They have to make you link a video at the end because otherwise they won't let you link the subscribe button thing. It's kind of weird. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to let YouTube choose. They can pick whatever video they want. We'll put it up there. And then if you're from Paul's channel, and you know you probably are, <laughs> Paul wants you to subscribe to my channel. Click that button. You guys have a great day.